Plus raspberries? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, All right. Stop. Okay. You know what you're looking for, right, Jay? Yes. So let's go, Daddy. The blue plant. Ezra, come this way. <laughs> Charlie's so excited to be out here. Oh, He'll eat your berries. We're going to a spot we saw a lot of them. All right. Don't eat all your berries, boys. <laughs> Did you say this was the secret spot? Did you say this was the secret spot? Oh, this looks like a bear's been through here. It looks like something's already been through here. Something big's been through here. Yeah, I see one. I see one. I see one. I see one. Hey guys, it's Saturday and I just headed out on my walking path where I planted some wildflower seeds this last spring. Dean tilled up a little like row kind of area for me and I planted a bunch of wildflower seeds. So I just came out here today to harvest some flowers to make some flower arrangements inside. Dean and I are off to a friend's wedding tonight and my mom is coming over to watch the boys. And I wanted to put some fresh flowers in the house so you can see here what all I've harvested. I got some echinacea out of the front garden bed and um, I cut my alum tops that had gone to seed. So I'm gonna take all of this inside and make some pretty arrangements and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. <music> So it's Sunday and Dean, myself, and the four boys, we are headed to um, a friend's house from our church who's having a big 4th of July get together. It's actually the same couple that we went to um, their house the last 4th of July. So if you go back through my videos and you watch last year's 4th of July video, you'll see some stuff there. Um, this year, last year was their first year here. They moved from California here to Tennessee. Um, so this year it's a much bigger event than last year. Plus last year was like kind of in the COVID stuff. So a lot of people weren't getting together. Anyway, this year things are different. So there's a much bigger crowd. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys are having a happy fourth. I will try to vlog a little bit here and there of things going on just to share some stuff with you guys. And so we can capture memories from our 4th of July and how we're celebrating. Um, I think there's there's definitely going to be food. I think there's going to be some water games and a pool and things like that for the kids. Obviously though there will be 4th of July fireworks. Um, yeah and just a bunch of fun and fellowship and getting to know other people. Um, spending time with friends. Anyway I um, hope you guys are having a good day and happy 4th of July if you're here in America.
I just harvested some squash and a cucumber from our garden. This is the first harvest so far. And Dean has requested some fried squash. So that's what I'm making him as a little pre-lunch appetizer. So I'm just slicing the squash um, in about a quarter inch pieces. Can you guys see that? And I'm gonna dip them in egg. I'm gonna put some egg in here, make like an egg wash, and then it will go in some cornmeal. So pretty easy, pretty simple. A southern classic. I don't know if this type of food is popular anywhere else, but in the south, everybody loves a fried squash. I'm just gonna scrape some coconut oil out of here and put it in here. I like to use coconut oil if I'm cooking anything that's like at a high temperature because um, it doesn't break apart the molecular structure of the oil. At least coconut oil can withstand those high heats and that's healthier for your body. So actually we'll leave this open because I tend to need more. So I'm just going to let that melt and get nice and hot. Okay, so as soon as the oil is ready in my cast iron skillet, I'm going to dip the squash in the egg wash and then I'll dip it in the um, cornmeal and then I'll just put it in the pan and let it fry up and then I'll place it on another dish with some paper towels on it to absorb extra oil and then I'll give them a little light coating of salt and pepper and that should be it should be good Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so Dean has been out in the garage working on getting some walls built to cover up the cinder blocks and he's putting in electrical boxes today, All right? All right, so we're planning on having shelves over here on this wall and a desk. So he's got boxes there and you spaced them out, I guess. Like along the yeah along the walls okay so what else are you doing right now just that today right yeah, since the flood we changed the plumbing to be ground level and hex so we oh that's the blue here, right. right and the cotton was running in the ceiling and when it burst that's where our problem came from and so we changed it to run along this block and we changed it to hex which is much less likely to burst um, but it looked bad and we didn't know what so we just decided since we're gonna be doing a chair rail anyway we'll just have a chair rail and a shelf all the way around the perimeter of the room but that would be kind of a neat look for a home school room anyway so then we had to bring all the electrical outlets back to the new wall um, okay i see so since throughout the rest of the house we have beadboard 
chair railing. We decided to just pull that out here too. So that this room, we're trying as much as possible to keep this room looking like it matches the rest of the house instead of like a converted garage. So all of the sheetrock on the top will be fixed. The, um, well, the sheetrock that goes on the ceiling will be, I get, what do you call that, flat? Like there's no imprints, right. it's not plastered or whatever. So it'll just look like the rest of the house. Um, we'll replace, you know, the door and have this, um, the garage door area will be a French door. So what's the next step after the electrical is done? What are um, you doing next? Well, after the electrical is done, we'll go ahead and start, start with the French door. We gotta get it framed in and then trimmed in. And once we get that done, uh, we'll hang the sheetrock. I just don't wanna do that when there's moisture. So yeah. We'll hang the sheetrock and then we'll be able to finish all the sheetrock. Once the sheetrock's finished, then we'll do the beadboard and the shelf. And the floor. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. So I'm doing some meal planning for the week. I have my recipe book here. This is the Weight Watchers New Complete Cookbook. Um, I've said this several times. I don't follow Weight Watchers, but I really like this cookbook because it's divided up into different types of food um, along the edge and there are a ton of recipes and I, they all turn out really yummy and delicious and you know, it's all fairly healthy. So I really enjoy this cookbook. I also have my weekly planner here. And so I'm going to go through and write, um, the types of meals each day that we're going to have. And then I will transfer, transfer everything here to my little weekly menu thing. Sounds like a good uh, lesson to learn in the lake. <laughs> or not the lake, the pond. It looks like the lake right now. Isaiah, you just crashed into your brother. Is Charlie doing okay? Staying, like keeping up with you and swimming and whatever? <laughs> he looks like he's tired. Ezra, you're doing so well. You'll fall over doing that. Charlie follows Isaiah wherever he goes. He's a good dog. So this is where I guess the, um, the runoff from the road runoff, like the ditch kind of runs down into our property and then there's a little stream that runs back here. And then this pours into the pond. So the pond is fed by this water. It's also fed by the spring over there, which Dean, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, he put like a plumbing pipe right there. So you can see it running out the top and that'll kind of set the water level of the pond. So it's just kind of pouring out of the top and spilling over. Okay, so the back side of the pond has not been leveled out yet. That's just still like a big pile of dirt and rocks. The guy with the heavy equipment has to come in and smooth all that out. We actually, we still have a bunch, the front yard has to be smoothed out as well, right? Like, oh, yeah. we've got a huge pile of rocks over there and dirt. We still have to kind of do some smoothing over where this little creek kind of thing is right over there. Like a stream, I should say. It's not really a creek. Yeah, and it's um, not a grade. It was mud when he spread it. And so, he has to be, able, like, he can make it. has it, to dry out. Yeah, yeah, and he can make it slant towards our creek and away from the house. So okay. So this is, what, what we're looking at here is probably eight or 10 inches on top of the old grass that was here. Okay. Um, and that's all of the junk from the pond that has been piled on top of the old yard 
and we're smoothing it, letting it dry, smooth it again, let it dry, pick up tons of rocks. <laughs> we actually probably should get that dirt away from the base of that tree, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Um, so it doesn't hurt the tree. Anyway, um, so this front yard has a lot of grading work kind of, you know, left to do. And then all around the pond, we still have to kind of smooth out the, the slope, really, like the, the banks of the pond. So you sort of are gonna dam up this little entry stream and then you're damming up the stream where the water exits. So we have two earthen dams you're gonna do, sort of, right? Right, I mean, this, yeah. This is kind of, it's still a lot of dirt and rocks, correct? Right. Okay, all right, so what did you, you worked yesterday over there and you put a bunch of rocks down and then you piled a ton of dirt over where the boys kayaks are, you can't really see it right now, but you're just, just overnight that raised the level high enough to get kayaks in there. Okay, so it's working. We just have to continue to raise it and we have to pile big rocks over the top because we want basically what's happening with this stream where there will be the water cascading over the rocks into the pond. On this stream over here where the water exits the pond, it'll be cascading over rocks and out into that little stream that runs through the yard. Correct? That is the point. Okay, so. I would say we are two thirds done with this project. <laughs> they are having, this is the first day they've been able to get into the pond and kayak. And this is one of the biggest reasons why we wanted to start this pond project in the first place, because we really want this huge pond to be usable. We want to be able to fish in it. We want the boys to kayak. Um, we just really want it to be a really nice water feature that's naturally a part of this property. So anyway, this is where we are as of July. Here's a green bean too, Ezra, look. Come here. <laughs> this is our sad pea and green bean row that barely worked out. Look right there. Do you see it? Bend down. It's long and skinny on that plant. Yep, right there, you're touching it. That's a bean. <laughs> There's some... Yeah, it's ready. There's some others on that plant too, I think, that may be ready. Yeah, look. Our onions are getting nice and big. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Look, there's some bell peppers. I don't know if those are ready. Are they going to get whiter or that's ready? But you can see there are definitely some peppers there, there, there. Look at all the tomatoes on this plant. Are the black ones ready yet? They're still green on the bottom. You know, I wonder if we have to pick them early and let them sit in the windowsill so that they totally ripen. Oh, look, there's some of the little ones already. Yeah, Uriah. Uriah, look over here. <coughs> look at those tiny little red ones. Ooh, look how red. Yeah, you one. They're supposed to be flavor bombs. Right here. Oh, rotten this one is. Oh, okay. oh rotten, rotten this one, one is. Rotten okay, this one is. Come on, Dad. Getting the yoda on. I, I found a rotten this one is. <laughs> Is it good? Oh wow! <laughs> is it yummy? Yeah. It? Was it sweet? Yeah. Hey, look. Can I try one? They're not quite ready, but you can try it if you want to. I'm gonna wait till they're ready. I got one. So those ones dry. Oh, okay. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we've got any cucumbers. We've been we've got two cucumbers so far. There's a baby one. Oh, good. You found another one. That's okay. Any more? Ready? Nope. Are there any cucumbers? I don't think so. Well, I see a, I see one growing. Hmm, right there's a baby one. Mm -hmm. There's a cucumber that's grown on this side. Oh, spiky. Is it ready? Yeah, I think. No. No, let that get a little bit bigger. He's almost Hey guys, so it's Sunday and I just left church really quickly to um, run to town to grab a couple of watermelons because that's what I'm supposed to be bringing to our 
family pitch in meal on Sunday. Sorry, my car is beeping at me. Um, anyway, our church has two services and I usually sit in for the second one. So after um, I'm on the worship team and I play the synth keyboard and after we play for the 9 a.m. service, sometimes the boys and Dee and I will go for a walk. Um, but today I needed to run to the store to grab my watermelons. <laughs> Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Anyway, I'll be back for the 11, and then we are getting together at Dean's parents' house with all of the family, like we normally do on Sundays, and that's pretty much it. We're just going to have a really laid-back, relaxing day today. We don't have anywhere else we need to be or anything we need to do. Um, I do have to wrap up our, like, homeschool grading for this past year, um, the way our homeschool schedule is, I like school ahead of when I grade. So I just like have already got all the grades down for last year's grading. <laughs> it's really confusing the way I do it. I should really write a blog post sometime and like really lay it out how I do it all. Anyway, I have to submit those grades and I have to um, reapply for this next year, this like 2021, 20, 2022 school year. Um, Anyway, so I've, I've got to do that today. That is one thing that I will probably come home from, you know, Dean's parents' house um, a little early this evening. I really need to finish that up. I was kind of supposed to have it done at the end of June, but they're really laid back. As long as you're registered and you've got your grades submitted for the past year by, like, August, the middle of August, they're okay with, you know, you kind of getting your stuff in a little later. So, here we are nearing the middle of July, and I still don't have my stuff done. So, I really need to do that today. Um, anyway, other than that, that's pretty much it. So I thought I would just jump on here and say hi today, let you guys know what we're up to, and then just kind of wrap this weekly vlog up today. Um, yeah, so I hope you all have had a really good week. I hope July is going well for you and you're enjoying your summer, whether your kids are on school break, um, you're planning vacations, you've already taken a vacation, you're working, you're not working, whatever life is like for you right now, I hope it is, um, yeah, I hope it's going well for you, and I will talk to you guys in next week's video. Take care. Bye.